Hi everyone, Miku from the YouTube channel Vinyl Corner to celebrate his 40th birthday decided to invite people to show their favorite albums from 1977. Behind me you can see some of the albums that almost made the cut but I'm going to show you the top 5, my personal top 5. So at number 5 we'll start with the hard rock hero uh, Ted Nugent and his Cat Scratch Fever. This album is a gatefold, it opens vertically, then horizontally you can see a picture of the band inside. And this one was released on Epic, and I'm gonna show you the label. There you go, orange Epic label. This, out of my top five, is um, the most commercially successful. So, Moving on to number four, a live album from Alice Cooper, The Alice Cooper Show. This album was recorded at the Aladdin Hotel in um, Vegas. And um, I'm going to show you the inner sleeve and the label inside. It, it is released on Warner Brothers. And um, Alice Cooper is the prince of uh, horror. Uh, if you can think of uh, the 70s uh, with his uh, makeup, uh, his uh, rebel attitude, um, he horrified and shocked a lot of people at the time. And um, yeah, just a great album. Number three, we're moving to the prog rock area. Rush, A Farewell to Kings. This one is released on Mercury. So it is also gatefold. Picture of the band, lyrics, and uh, this has uh, something quite interesting about it. So this is the inner sleeve. Uh, first I'm going to show the the label, Mercury, and uh, <laughs> Rush all, always have uh, um, some freakish artwork, cover artwork, and something that is also common in their artwork is uh, male nudity, so here we have a man from behind. It is always interesting, but Fifth album. This album got um, gold record. The first, uh, the first album of Rush to get a gold record in the U.S. Fifth album of the band. So moving quickly to number two, Rainbow on Stage, the second live album of my top five. So this is uh, Richie Blackmore's um, Rainbow, obviously. The Gatefold, it is a double album, um, the recordings are live from their uh, Rising World Tour and it is a double album, so we have the inner sleeves here and this one. I always like these uh, casual type photographs and here in the middle, I don't know if you can see Dio just Talking on the phone, very casually. Richie Blackmore's Rainbow was initially formed with uh, Dio's band Elf after he left uh, Deep Purple. Just a great, great, great live album. And it, it is cool, at the back, it, it is a little bit unusual, I would say. They have all the equipment they use and some of the crew they decided to thank so it's really cool and my number one of 1977 is Rainbow Rainbow, not Rainbow Camel with Rain Dances there you go and um, Rain Dances is the first album with uh, Richard Sinclair the founding member of Caravan 
This is on DECA label. And this is my, fa my personal favorite of 1977. For me, this prog rock album is timeless and I have actually been listening to it uh, quite a lot recently. So there you go, these are my top 5 albums of 1977. So please uh, check Vinyl Corner, the YouTube channel. Uh, Miku does some great videos and uh, uh, happy birthday, I guess, Miku. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like these videos and we'll see you again soon.